Hello, my mathematicians. I'm so excited to work with you today because you're mathematicians. Do you know what a mathematician is? It's someone who works with math. And a lot of times math is numbers, graphs, money, time, all these things that we're gonna be working on this year. But today what we're gonna be talking about is numbers. And there are numbers all around us. In fact, I was just looking through my house today and I saw some numbers on my clock. I was going to make some food and I saw some numbers on like cans. Like, I mean, seriously, you can go check it out later in your house if you have a can of soup or something. There are actually numbers on there. There's numbers on our food. On my phone when I wanna call someone, numbers. In fact, I was looking for an address of a friend and there were numbers on their house. So numbers are everywhere so it's really important that we learn about them and this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be paying attention to how numbers go in order and to do that today we have a very fun game planned called ordering numbers and you're going to need some materials for this first um, and I'm going to show you how to play it so I was looking around my house like I said numbers everywhere and I found these do you know what this is a deck of cards and not all of these cards have numbers, some have letters, so I would maybe take the letter ones out. But like I've got one with a 10 number, and here's like a seven, and seven, and I have a nine. So I would take all of those numbers out, here's a three. But like for this particular game, you're not gonna need anything with letters. So if you have a deck of cards, you could totally use that if you had one. Um, if you don't have that kind of deck of cards, I actually was looking around my house, and like I said, numbers everywhere. And I found a deck of these kind of cards. Have you ever played this game? It's one of my family's favorites, Uno. And there's a lot of cards with numbers on them. Now again, not every card has a number. So what I would do is I would go through this deck again. And if it doesn't have a number, I would put it on one side. And then those numbers that do have, I probably wouldn't use the draw fours really, or the skips obviously. But anything with a number, I'm gonna put in a different pile. So I'll have those two different piles because what you're going to need today are those number cards and I also found as I was shopping today I was out um, getting some folders for my son for his classes and I was at the dollar store and I found these super cool number cards actually and it was only a buck a dollar again more money right money is math so I found these and this is another great thing that you could use if you wanted to practice um, what we're about to do today with numbers but you might think, oh, Mrs. Dorn, I don't have any, I don't have a deck of cards. I don't have Uno cards. I don't have, I haven't, I don't have time to go to the dollar store. I'm in class right now. So in that case, what you could also do is you could make your own cards. And I'm going to show you how to do that too. So all you'll need for that is a piece of paper like this. Now I'm going to just fold this paper in half a couple times. So that, see how I'm folding it? And it doesn't matter how you fold it, it's your choice. And then when I open it up, I'm gonna be able to see where those folds are. So see, now I have these nice lines, you can kind of see them here. And I'm just gonna write some numbers in each little square that I made. So I might write the number one and two. I think I'm just gonna go all the way up to, how many do you think I'm gonna make here? I've got four on the top, four on the bottom. Do you guys know how much I'm making? You're right, eight. Some of you probably said that before I even got there. Now, if you're making your own cards, I would suggest just drawing a little line on it because sometimes if you were to make a lot of these cards, which you could if you had enough paper, a six and a nine can sometimes look similar if you turn them upside down and people get confused by that. So once you're done with that part, all you need are some scissors and you can take some scissors and you can just cut along where you made those folds and guess what? You have made your own deck of cards. I actually cut my finger on something today so I have a Band-Aid on and it feels kind of funny to be cutting these cards this way. But you could even play this way. So today, after I show you how to play this game, you can do a little look and see if you have any cards around your house. And if you don't, hopefully you have some paper and a pencil or markers, and you can do this too. Again, I'm, not, I'm going pretty fast, aren't I here? 
but there we go. Now I've got another deck of cards. So I could, and I'm gonna mix these all up again, and I'm going to show you how we're going to play this game. Now this game is called Ordering Numbers, and so what I'm gonna have you do, in, in addition to the cards, and it could be the cards that you make, um, so you could use those kinds of cards, a deck of cards, and again, remember I got these really super cool ones from the dollar store. There, the numbers are on the back there. So whichever kind of card you want, in fact, I might try all three of the, or all four of them today to kind of show you how you can play this game. Um, but you're also gonna need some paper because we are going to be seeing how many different number combinations you can make by putting them in the right order. So you're gonna need a pencil, of course, too and those decks of cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the ones we made first. And what you're gonna do, I've mixed them all up. You're gonna to wanna to mix your cards up for sure so they're all mixed in here. And you're going to turn over three cards to start. So I've got one, two, and three. Oops, there I go, three cards. And you're going to wanna to put them in order from the smallest to the biggest. So if I had to do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have made three, seven, and eight. So on my paper, I'm going to write three, seven, eight. And I'm gonna do it again. In fact, this time I'm gonna try a different deck and see if we can't figure it. Here's my number deck here. So I'm gonna pull up three cards, one, two, three. Oh, I have another seven. I'm going to get rid of that seven. So I have a different, let me see if I can get, oh my goodness. I have a ton of different sevens. I didn't shuffle this. Oh, there's a different number and a nine. So now if I were to put these in order from smallest to biggest, you know what would come first? Seven. And after seven comes eight. I don't have an eight right now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, look at that. So I'm going to write Right below my first number, I'm gonna write seven, nine, and 10. Look at that, that's kind of fun, isn't it? I might, and so that people don't think it's a one and a zero, I'm gonna put what's called a comma in between. Comma looks like this. I should probably do it for my first number too, shouldn't I? So let's practice our commas too. They're just like a little line with a tail on it. I'm gonna try another one now. Uno cards. Let's see what they're going to be. Oop, a three. Boy, I have a lot of sevens. <laughs> Lucky number sevens. Oh my goodness. There we go. Three. Look at what are the chances? Do you notice something there? Three, seven, eight. But I'm going to practice writing it again. So I'm going to write the three. And then do you remember what I said to put? A comma. Seven. Comma and an eight. All right, I'm gonna try those dollar star cards now and see. And again, you could just use the same cards over and over again, so I'm gonna try a couple here. All right, so I've got, I'm gonna shuffle these up a little bit. If I didn't, I just opened these guys up, but they look kind of fun to play with for sure. Oh, look that one, there's a dog on it. All right, so here I go, I'm gonna pull three cards over. One, two, three. All right, and I'm gonna put these in order again. So I've got a 14, a one, and a nine. Which is the smallest? A one, then a nine, and then a 14. So in my book, I'm gonna write one, comma, nine, comma, 14. And if you don't have a notebook like I do, you can even do it on a, on a whiteboard or something too. But you're going to want to hold on to it because we're going to share these in a little bit when we get back together again because you're going to play this on your own. So let me do one more because it's fun. All right. So I've got, oh, look at those little, I like, I kind of am liking these dollar store ones. So I've got one that says eight. Oh my goodness. Look at this number 100. Is it 100 on both sides? Should probably turn it over like I've been doing 60 and three. Okay, so there's three very different numbers. Which one is the smallest, do you think? I guess this door, and that's easy. Three, eight, and then 60. So I'm gonna write those down, and I'm gonna write them right here. So I'm gonna write three. Do you remember what it's called that goes in between? 
comma and commas separate. We actually use commas even when we're writing words. When you have a comma, it separates things. Sometimes it separates lists or words. And in this case, it's separating numbers, isn't it? Three comma eight comma 10. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we are going to play this game. Now, I know it's gonna take a little bit because you're gonna have to find those materials. So either you can find a deck of cards, an Uno card, or you might need to make some um, number cards of your own like I showed you how to do it, but I know you can do it. And then when you come back, you're going to bring this piece of paper. And when we get back together, you can say, if I say, hey, everybody, your teacher's gonna say, hey, show me what you got. You're gonna be able to hold that up and show us so that we can see everything that you did. And we can even maybe check it out in breakout rooms where you can share your work too. And we can see maybe some people can fill up their whole page with numbers of ordering. So that's your task today, mathematicians. And I'm gonna answer any questions that you might have, but otherwise we're gonna get working. Have a great day.